In this video, I wanna talk about trends and statistics. This is awesome. So this is where I can go through and create custom dashboards and then add custom widgets to those dashboards to really visualize data that this thing is collecting, that the sensor is collecting. And so before we jump into that, the first thing I wanna talk about is this system report. So if you click on this, it's gonna generate this system report that really helps me understand what's happening with the Defender for IoT sensor. So give this just a moment to run here. Uh, and then let's open this up. So this is gonna show me, here's an inventory of all the devices that it discovered. And then it's gonna show me all devices by vendor. And then it's gonna show me things like all of the alerts for all of these devices. And then it's gonna show me things like the firmware version and the different modules on the backplane of these devices it discovered. And then it's gonna show me things like you know, S7 data blocks, that's an OT protocol. So you get all of this valuable information from this system report. This can be incredible. Think about if you're in a cybersecurity incident, you can export this as maybe evidence, maybe give it to your incident responder if they're a third party entity and let them use it. There's so many different use cases for this system report. So I really wanted to show you that first. So now let's jump into trends and statistics. Now what's cool about this is you can create custom dashboards. So I already created a few here, but let's just go ahead and create a dashboard. And uh, you know, let's go ahead and give this a name. So uh, let's just call this um, uh, let's just call this devices. Actually, I already have one called device. Perfect. So let's click on devices, and this is where I can go in and add widgets from this widget store. And this is just awesome. So. You can go through and add all sorts of different widgets, um, you know, by traffic by port. Uh, you can look at widgets for device statistics, widgets at the database level, uh, even at the OT protocol level. So show me Delta, Delta V, uh, you know, operations or events. Show me things around DNP3. Uh, show me things around the S7 protocol. So this could be extremely powerful and when you create these widgets, they're kind of interactive here, so you can you know, kind of split it out in the pie graph, um, some are bar graphs. And then what's cool about this is you have a filter, and so I can go through and, and change this around as I see fit. Um, I can also go in here and remove this from the view, so that's handy. And so again, widgets is just a way to present the data. Uh, let's go in and let's let's create a new dashboard. Actually, let's call this uh, network, and let's add some widgets to this. Uh, so let's take a look at active TCP connections as maybe an example. So let's go over here to uh, to traffic, um, active TCP connections. Let's add that. Not a whole lot happening. What else do we have? Let's go back to traffic, traffic by port. That could be extremely useful. Uh, and again, I, I can you know filter that how I see fit. I can filter it based on uh, the date if I wanted to. Uh, let's see, what else do we got here? Uh, traffic, uh, channel bandwidth. All right, that could be interesting. I mean, if there's a spike there and that's not normal, you know, let's go out and do an investigation on that. You get the idea, all sorts of uh, data points available at your fingertips to build these dashboards that are extremely useful. So I wanted to show you a little bit about trends and statistics. I'll do some more in-depth videos on some custom widgets and, and dashboards later on. Uh, but for now, I just wanted to kind of give you an, an overview and get you, you know, familiar with it. Stay tuned because in the next video, we're going to talk about risk assessment. And this is really cool. So take care and we'll catch you all really soon.